were a little girl and I used to do your hair, sugar. Remember, I was the only five-year-old with a beehive. <laughs> now here you are, all grown up and married, doing mine. Okay, we are ready to spray. I think that'll hold it. <laughs> Mom, I think it'll stop a bullet. Don't mess with me. I still know where your tickle spot Honey. is. Get out here, Honey! <laughs> Honey, get out here. Quick. What is it? I think something's wrong with old man Ramsey. He looks dead. <gasps> he is not dead. He's just asleep in front of the TV. Hey, will you give me a break? Who sleeps with their eyes open? The newest guy in the cell block. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the guy is dead. I'll see if he's still kicking. Move back. <laughs> Old man Ramsey's gone. And he went just like that. Well, what'd you expect, man? The guy was 88. It's not like he's gonna die of bobsledding. <laughs> Five bucks says I can balance this on my nose for 30 seconds. Okay, yo. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> hey, Mr. Carlisle. Hello, Shamu. <laughs> Morning, Dave. Hey, can I help you, Dad? I doubt it, but I'm desperate. <laughs> Look here, son. I gotta go to St. Louis for a few days. While I'm gone, I want you to show old man Ramsey's apartment. He's got the ad all ready in the papers. Wow, that was fast. The man just died yesterday. Well, I had the ad ready to go. When I went to pick up the rent check, I didn't like the sound of that cough. <laughs> I admire your compassion, Dave. How you gonna pay for the ad? Selling his organs? <laughs> Look here, boy. While I'm away, I want you to show the place, check the references, and get a deposit. You think you can handle that? Dave, you make it sound like you have no faith in me. Then I made myself clear. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. I want you to keep in mind that I'm looking for a certain type of tenant. One who's diligent and responsible with a particular quality. Uh -huh. <laughs> I understand. I'll try and find someone with a wristwatch. <laughs> Let's make sure he's got a black band. Hi, guys. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, baby. Hey. What you doing here? Taking me to the airport. Hey, I usually take you to the airport. Mm hmm and I usually miss the plane. Uh, Mr. Carlisle, I got you some coffee and the Wall Street Journal to read on oh, the way. Oh, why, thank you. You know, Dave, it certainly would make me happy if we had a tenant like Phyllis here. Oh, is there an opening in the building? Well, now, Phyllis, don't get any ideas. I don't think it'd be too good for the relationship if we lived in the same building. You know? mm, you're right about that. Yeah. I wouldn't want you knowing who comes and goes in my place. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got coming and going. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, baby. Talk to me for a second. <laughs> Wow, old man Ramsey's apartment never looked this creepy on the outside. Ah, relax. It's just an old, furnished apartment. I'm a dead man! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! A 
That's the chair where he died. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Barker Lounger of Death. <laughs> uh, I'll give you five bucks if you sit in it. Well, no way. Oh, what? You scared? No. I just don't need the five bucks, that's all. <laughs> oh, it, not the chicken thing. John is very mature, but no thank you. <laughs> I fine. I'll do it just to shut you up. It's just a chair. Oh, no. <laughs> Golly! <laughs> You're such a girl. Hey, anybody home? Hey, Maureen, what are you doing here? I might be interested in renting this apartment. We don't rent by the hour. <laughs> now, Johnny, what did I ever do to make you think I was that kind of a woman? You flashed a dead man. <laughs> serious. I saw the ad, and I'm talking about moving here permanently. You're serious? This apartment? You want to you wanna move in here, into, into our building? Absolutely. I'm sick of trailer life. I want to live someplace where I can turn around in the shower and not get goosed by the faucet. <laughs> oh, sure, it was fun at first. Go up to me. I'd let you have it, Maureen, but... You know, my dad, he's looking for a certain kind of tenant. One of his own kind. Oh, now, isn't that illegal? Can I show you the place? <laughs> I can find my way around. Let me see. Oh, what a cute little bathroom. Dave, don't you know about discrimination? You don't tell somebody you're going to do it. You just do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm new at it. Look, my mother-in-law cannot live in this building, okay? Hey, will you chill out? A man just died here. And maybe she won't want to move in here. I love it! There's a reading light over the toilet! <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. Look at that. You can see our apartment from here. Then she'll see everything Lorraine and I do. I'll never have sex again. <laughs> I got a plan, all right? Just go with me on this. This place is perfect. The Lord has answered my prayers. Well, I'm thrilled you like it, Maureen. Yeah. Of course, I wouldn't feel fair renting you the place if I didn't tell you about the curse. Oh, yeah, that's right. She doesn't know about the curse. Yeah, it's weird, man. Everyone who's ever lived in this apartment has died a horrible death. Suicides, decapitations. You should have seen Ramsey when the coroner took him out of here. Yeah, yeah, his tongue was sticking out. Head was flopping around all the <laughs> Was he bloated yet? <laughs> now, back home, I saw a dead cow that was lying in the sun for a week. Lula Bell, she swelled up the size of a Pontiac Bonneville. <laughs> Puss and blood was just oozing out of her. Your maggots were crawling through her. I saw all right, okay, all right, I can okay. see that. You got the picture. Oh, look at the bedroom. Hey, Johnny, I can see your apartment from that window. I know. Oh, that worked great. Oh, well, is it my fault that her life is more disgusting than anything I can make up? Dave, hey, man, we gotta do something. We gotta do it now. Well, she listens to Lorraine. Why don't you go down there and see if she can talk Maureen out of this? I'm gone already. <laughs> hey, looky here. Are these his false teeth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we know one thing. What's that? He liked broccoli. <laughs> Honey, we got big trouble. Now, I know you love your mother, but she's upstairs right now renting old man Ramsey's apartment. What? 
My mother in our building? Yep. In that apartment? I'm like, I'll never have sex again. <laughs> yeah, <I> shake her! <laughs> uh, you've got to tell her we don't want her here. Wait, wait. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Because she loves me. She's still not sure about you yet. <laughs> no, I don't want to be the bad guy. Okay, fine. You break the ice. I'll uh, just jump in and agree with everything you say. Did Johnny tell you the good news? Isn't it wonderful? All of us together, just like a real family. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, that's, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about, Maureen. Oh! Uh, I just... Not sure that it's a good idea if, um, if we all live in the same building. You don't want me here? <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's just, it's that I, I, uh, I don't think, uh, I think it would be better for all of us if you just found someplace else to live. Huh. I thought you'd be happy. Especially you, sugar. <laughs> Lorraine, don't you uh, have something to say to your mom? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, it looks like John doesn't want you to move in. Well, I know your husband comes first, baby, but... Uh, you're not just my daughter, you're... You're my best friend! <laughs> uh, now, um, look, I'm sorry, Maureen, you just cannot live here. That's right, it's bye-bye for you, Maureen. We are just cutting you out of our lives. your mascara for me, okay? Oh. Want to be alone with John for just a minute? I'm sorry. You all right? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, that went great, huh? She really got the point. <laughs> How could you miss my signals? What? What do you mean? This means stop it. This means cut it out. And that means you're an idiot! <laughs> what did I do? I want my mama to move in. What? Wait, a, a minute ago, you were begging me to get rid of her. Okay, I changed my mind. You, no, no, you can't change your mind. You're the one that said you didn't want her to live here. You said it would screw up our lives. Oh, come on now, when I said that it was gonna be screwed. I'm glad to know how you feel. One good thing about trailer life, I'm mobile. <laughs> any town where nobody wants me. Oh, come on, Mama! Mama! Mama, come! Oh, God. My mama hates me. Now, honey, calm down. Maureen will get over this. We'll get on with our lives, and we'll think of the bright side. <laughs> we can still have sex. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't mean right now. <laughs> hey, honey... Lorraine, she not comes. Dad, great news. I found the perfect tenant for your apartment. Man, her name's Stephanie. She's a Howard University graduate. Yeah, she works with Phyllis. Mm. No, no, I'm kissing Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I checked the references. I'm a good judge of character, man. I'm your son. Don't you value my opinion? Who wants to talk to you? Hi, Mr. Carlisle? No, Stephanie's okay. All right. She's in. Oh. Dad, you're not gonna... Hello? <laughs> oh, you are great. Hmm. Mm. Well, I'm glad to be of service. Well, I just wish I had that apartment back. Oh. Then I could rent it to you. We can always call Stephanie to cancel. Well, no, no, no. I'm a man of my word. You know. Oh, and I know the word. 
In the dictionary, it comes right after bullseye. <laughs> Hey, hey, Phyllis. Oh, where have you been? I got in a fight with Lorraine. Listen, Dave, gotta rent Maureen that apartment. Oh, what, are you out of your mind? Some kind of cruel white boy joke? <laughs> like affirmative action? <laughs> hey, if I don't move Maureen into that building, my, my marriage is gonna fall apart. Let me get those keys. Doesn't matter if I give you the keys, I already rented the place to someone else. I'm moving Maureen into that apartment. Now, give me the keys. No. Give me the keys, Dave. No, wait. Get off. Get off. Ow. Hey, ow. Hi. Maureen, where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Oh, I just wanted to drop off this stuff for Lorraine before I left town. You're leaving town? I just got an itch for Vegas. You know, good weather, good friends. Plus, I still got a coupon from the Barbary Coast for 10 free pulls on Big Bertha. <laughs> Please tell me you're talking about a slap machine. Oh, Mama, here you are. What is your trailer doing out front? I'm leaving. No, you are not. You do this every time something goes wrong. You just pack up and run away. Well, not this time, all right? Now, you go drive that trailer right back to the trailer park. Oh, well, that's not an option. I told Mr. Dudley, that skin flint manager, that I never did like him and he could kiss my bare hiney. <laughs> then he tried. So I drove right over his mailbox and plowed right through his decorative gates. <laughs> then you're stuck. Like it or not, you're gonna stay in the apartment. Sugar, I don't care about that apartment. The only reason I was excited about living there was being close to you. I know I wasn't much of a mother when you were growing up. Oh, and I thought if we were neighbors, I could make up for lost time and be a part of my baby's life. Okay, look. <laughs> I know having you live in my apartment will drive me crazy, okay? But I also know the only thing that would make me crazier is if I didn't see you every day. Oh, baby. Oh, come here. <laughs> oh, this is more nauseating than the bloated cow story. <laughs> you want the apartment? Here's the keys. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's go check it out. <laughs> I mean, you leave it town. What were you thinking? Who was gonna spray your hair? Huh? Who was gonna play with my tickle spot? You know, you're oh, the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye, boy. Bye. Well, thanks, ma'am. You're welcome. Now, how long do you think we can keep it secret from your dad? Actually, quite a while. I'm planning to distract them with my suicide. <laughs> oh! Hey! I just redid those walls. Well, not very well. <laughs> Who are you? This is my building. Kind of overdressed for a janitor, aren't you? <laughs> I own the building. Oh, oh, you, oh, you must be Dave's father. That's right, Henry Carlisle. Well, how do, Hank? I'm Maureen DeMoss, your new tenant. My new what? <laughs> now, don't you worry, Hank. Nine months out of ten, I'm going to have the rent right on time. <laughs> Unfortunately, this happens to be the tenth month. <laughs> Uh, so how soon do you think you can get this hole fixed? Oh, there are a few things around here that need to be fixed. Well, stop pushing me, man. That's all I'm saying. Dave! Oh, no! <laughs> Miss Carlisle, we weren't expecting you back till tomorrow. Surprise. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Maureen, I think mm -hmm. my dad wants to talk to me. You could just run downstairs and warn the others. 
I may be hurled out the window at any moment. <laughs> oh, Dave, you're such a hoot. <laughs> you just make sure you keep your daddy out of my bottle of bourbon. Hmm? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Hank. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Dad, say something. You're scaring me. You promised me you had the perfect tenant. Are you telling me that this crazy, bourbon-swilling white woman went to Howard University? Dad, let me explain. No, Dave. Dave, let me. Oh, Lord. OK, sure, Mr. Carlisle. Dave could have done the easy thing, rented the apartment to some tenant with great references. But he passed her up to help me by helping my mother-in-law, who probably couldn't get an apartment anywhere else in Chicago, really. You can stop helping me now, John. <laughs> Look here, son. I can see you did this out of loyalty. Laid yourself on the line for your best friend. Yeah, Dad, I, I did. Have I taught you nothing? <laughs> Dad, she's not gonna be that much trouble for you. Show you right. Not gonna be any trouble for me at all. No, sir. Uh-uh. You rented her this place. That means you're the landlord. If she breaks something, huh, that means you fix it. If she's late with the rent, you get to cover it. No, I don't have a problem at all. Nope, I don't have a care in the world. <laughs> Bagged it yourself, did you? Well, I can't take all the credit. I was aiming at my second husband. <laughs> I bet he's sorry you missed. <laughs> oh, boy, it is good to finally have a home. And Dave, I never thought I would hear myself say this, but I want to tell you, your daddy is one good-looking man. And I think he was checking me out. Oh, he's definitely going to keep an eye on you. Are you sure your daddy's really black? He may just be Cuban. <laughs>